class is about li literature review and as i said this is a very important topic and you need to come back to it again and again uh, through the recording and also the slides that i'm going to share later so we we already said the importance of uh, problem definition uh, of problem formulation because uh, we need to define a research problem to determine the current knowledge about a problem its causes and possible solutions we need to clarify the problem make sure what exactly we want to find out through this research so what exactly the knowledge that we want to generate in this research we need to know uh, as much as possible about the topic before we can formulate a researchable problem so what is uh, the problem that we want to see the problem as we said although it starts from actual issue for example what's what's uh, how to improve grandma's bread or how to improve solar heater how to improve uh, drone uh, navigation system how you know these are the the the, 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 the issue eh? uh, but uh, we need to zoom in to what literature is saying about the problem that's important so we need to look for deficiencies in uh, previous studies what how how does the proposed study address the these deficiencies or get in literature so we'll deal with everything a uh, 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 problem formulation always deal about this but, but how to address what is the the, the knowledge gap and how finally our study is going to address this gap by putting our purpose statement and our objectives so they are interrelated here yeah? so a literature review is a necessity because without this step you know if the problem has been solved or what related research is already underway okay so you need to know once you for example just now you found at the vertex of your inverted pyramid about an issue are you sure that that thing has not been done or no, no one is doing it okay so you need to identify that uh, so one of the way that you can start will be to start searching uh, with the most recent article you can find so the most recent article for example you, if you can find 2021 20, articles then you go to the list of references and you look for peer references and from there you find the, the related paper okay so you go you go backward 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 yeah so don't be so discouraged if the work on the topic is already underway you find the other niche okay so maybe somebody start studying already something about this nanotubes sensor on carbon nanotubes cna um yeah but maybe uh like like just now you're saying uh Helmi was saying you were doing something about uh, people you, about application you're looking at production so only production there are various ways of doing production for example uh, so i'm looking to, to look into something which is has not been done by by other people for example so that's that's the thing that we we need to look at but if you found somebody has already done something that really there is no more gap no more area that you can you can um, slip in okay and find a gap then you leave that you find something else you need to find that you you need to go and find something else otherwise you will be doing something which is in vain yeah because somebody has already done it there's no gap in knowledge then you're not doing research if there is no gap in knowledge that you're trying to solve then you're not doing research because somebody else is doing that research so you need to find another gap okay so um in order to do that you re is required that you you read literature from variety of sources and then when you want to write uh, to, to do that we need to form taxonomy or structure to the review we identify where the very contribution literature for later we'll see an example and then we we review the literature critically identifying different approaches and so on and draw your own conclusion particularly concerning completeness or coverage 
and highlight implication for your work. Okay, this is something that we try to do, although very simple, from your first assignment. Although I did not say something about literature review, I did not say really that uh, uh, you, you need to write in a proper way and so on. No, I don't give any marks for somebody who write in a proper literature review. Eh? You just follow the instruction and you get it. But that's basically an idea that you go to the literature and you try to look into what they say about uh, about the problem that it's trying to solve, what's the objective that it's trying to do, and so on. So, so those things that you 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 look from literature literature. But the important thing that we need to see here is that uh, you you should not be simply pasting quotes from different papers because the literature review is a critical analysis. Okay, uh, write up, which later we'll go in a bit more detail later. So, these are some of the points that need to be borne in mind when we write literature review. Number one, literature review occurs twice in the thesis. So, that means literature review means you review the literature, you write with citations and so on. It will appear twice at least, yeah, mainly, mainly. In chapter one and in chapter two. Or if you write your proposal in section one, if you write your proposal without chapters, you use section one for introduction, section two for literature review, section three for uh, methodology. So you, the literature review will occur in chapter one, while in the background and formulation section of chapter one, or the, and also in the whole of chapter two. Chapter two is called literature review, so you definitely you need to do chapter review there. But people sometimes forgot. They, they say since they tell you is in chapter two, in chapter one, I don't need to have any citation or any reference. No. In chapter one, you need to have literary review to define your problem. Okay, because problem definition is done based on literature. So number the point number two here, in the background and problem solution section of chapter one, literature review should be mainly focused on giving the background uh, okay, of the problem and the identification of the gaps and hence problem statement. Previous works must be cited. So what you were doing just now was trying to do this, of course, without the, uh, without the citations, but later when you write it down, then you must write the citation. Yeah, just, uh, just like John did. Yeah? And then number three, in chapter two, literature review should literally discuss previous work, their methodologies and results. Some form of taxonomy and structure must be created for the review. Consideration for each material can be cited and critically analyzed within the taxonomy. We'll talk a bit more about taxonomy later, but uh, now just, just the points here is that you need to have in both chapter one and chapter two uh, literature citations. Number four is very, very important. Literature review is not an expanded bibliography or a disjointed summary of paper and articles. It should not consist of only extracts or from abstracts of papers. Instead, the literature review is a critically interwoven write-up, identifying different approaches, similarities, and connection between contribution analysis, strength, and weaknesses. So this is um, the, what makes literature review difficult is to do this. Because to do this, it's quite easy. You don't need to be a PhD uh, researcher or even master's uh, uh, student to write a literature like this. Even SPM student can also do this. Uh, we give you the abstract of all the papers and just cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste. Uh, Ali says this, Wong says this, Ahmad says this, you know. So you can write that. Nobody, no, it's, it's quite easy, yeah. But the actual uh, test of your philosophy, master of philosophy, or doctor of philosophy, is how you critically analyze the literature, how you connect them, how you compare them, how you differentiate them. You know, so that's that's the important part. Okay, so that's why when you write later. Uh, in your second assignment and of course your final assignment, uh, you 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 are going to show us 
that you can do this not this okay number four as i said is spm student number five will be a research student in utm okay now let's see let's say uh um you you are your 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 research is about wind turbine in Malaysia. In, in, you, you, you're researching about wind turbine in Malaysia. Okay, so you want to design or develop a wind turbine for Malaysia. And you, you found that in the literature, there are people uh, already who have done this already as far back as Lee in 2010, okay, until Ali 2017. Oh no, Davis 2020. So we see that. Uh, this is one paper, this is one paper, this is one paper, this is one paper, one paper. Okay. So this is what we call as a taxonomy. Example, yeah? example only. Okay. That means that what are the important things that you want to, to categorize or you want to characterize from each of the research? What are the important things you want to compare and contrast? What are the important things you want to pick up from that? Because you're, you're coming up with your new design. I think I need to know where they study, what we speak they were talking about, the turbine type, the study method, and so on. So from there, I can learn about uh, what they're doing, and I can uh, pick up which one I can use some of the results that they they they, they use. Okay. So by the way, all my uh, citations from John until the vco and all those are all fictional don't don't try to find if you are doing with the you go you want to find all this don't know these are not available on google scholar even okay so say ali wrote a, a paper sorry lee lee wrote a paper in 2010 he studied something about mersing is uh wind turbine immersing that was his wind speed and he used this axis and this is how he studied it and so on. Okay. And uh, after that would be Wong, and then after that would be Musa, after that would be Ali, and after that David. So you can, for example, you first you can introduce that you found only five. So you say uh, five studies, five main studies on wind turbine design in Malaysia. You can tell them chronologically. Okay. So that's the first one, just so that people understand about the history. Okay, so a, a, a poor literature review will take one paper and describe it like this. So one paragraph will describe Lee's uh, work. He did his work in Mersing and he did, uh, the speed was 3.5. Uh, he used the decay axis and uh, he did half field test. Uh, half scale but finally the turbine broke during final testing so that is the story about this one okay after that you tell the story about the next one which is this one okay wong so one story one paragraph okay after that another one paragraph here after that another one paragraph here and finally one paragraph here so that's spm literature review okay spm literature review just describe each article one by one okay but uh research student utm research student research review they don't do that they do this way they take one parameter or one category of the taxonomy here and compare and contrast between them okay this way this way this way this way or maybe and maybe this way because this one will be later but for each one here you have this kind of thing so you look first at each of the particular aspect that you want to look at from each paper so you compare between them so this one is only about if you if you remember about the the the, the exercise uh, that we give you i think the the issue was only about overlap ratio Okay, the, the, the exercise. It's only about the ratio, which is uh, an aspect of turbine design. An aspect of turbine design is overlap ratio. So one paragraph only about overlap ratio has so many references inside that. 
So you're talking about one aspect of the study. Okay. So uh, similarly like this one, maybe it can also go this way. Can go this way, can go this way, maybe this way. So you may uh, want to, to make it that it can go together like this. Something like uh, uh, when, when, when you write, you talk about Melaka and its wind speed eh, compared to Kudat and Kudat wind speed and so on. So, for example, like uh, this, uh, uh, all those, for, you, you, maybe, maybe you have a sentence that, uh, that describes these two together. Although both Davis 2020 and Wong 2015 did their work in Kudat, okay. Um, they did not use similar wind, uh, wind speed. Okay, Wong used uh, 3.8, uh, 3 to 8 meter per second, whereas Davis consider between 5 to 7 meter per second only. And then you, this one you may relate with your data earlier that uh, previously some data has been said that wind speeds of less than 3 meters per second is not able, uh, is, is not useful at all or in Kodak, uh, something like that. So you want you, you to relate with this Kodak area. Okay. Okay. Um, and also, they, also you can say about maybe uh, since they are quite similar in terms of speed, this one is 4 to 5 meters per second and this is uh, 3 to 5 meters per second, they, but they use uh, different, different type of turbine. This one use horizontal axis, this one vertical axis, various, for example. Okay, they, this is, so you, you compare uh, in various ways like that, trying to uh, see the differences, similarities between them and so on. So also the study methods, yeah, there are different study methods. So, and then at the end, you may want to comment about each one. This is result not promising, this is good results and so on. So, this is not validated. All this can also be written. Your your evaluation of uh, the 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 each of the uh, the research yeah, that has been carried out before in this same field. So finally, you want to conclude that for your case, you what 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 are you going to learn from this uh, this um, all the previous research? Okay, so you may you may say that uh, from all these studies, Busa one is the most promising. They have set, uh, they, 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 their results are excellent at in laboratory scale, and they are in the process of building full scale. But we are still waiting for the results or something like that. Or maybe you want to follow this work of doing this particular exit Golov because their laboratory uh, test was the best compared to uh, Davis who did also label the test, but it doesn't work. Okay, so this one will be, so you you you, you compare from one another like that. Uh, so, so that's what we mean by, uh, we need to write critically interwoven write-up. Critically interwoven write-up. We need to compare uh, the, the, the things horizontally like this in this case. Okay, so that's that's the part about writing uh, your your literature review. It is not expanded bibliography, as it's been mentioned before. We cannot say that, uh, like, like this one, for example, Davis 2020 carried out research in Sabah, and uh, they, their their work is um, uh, is based on wind speed of five to seven seconds. They use horizontal acid three bladed, and they, 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 uh, the 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 tests were done in the laboratory at one to fifth scale. They have good results, uh, and uh, the the final production was fifteen kilowatt hour. Okay, that's theory. Now we go to Wong. Wong did his work in Kodak also, and uh, so that's what we mean by expanded bibliography. You're just giving a summary of each of the article and that's not the way to write okay we can see example later we can jump to that example. ah okay this one so this is what we call uh, that expanded bibliography 
trust did this uh, yuan did that and subakuma did that trust did that okay. so that's not the way to do you need to have many many in one paragraph you need to have many many references so that you you can compare with one another like the one that we have seen in the the example that i sent to you eh? okay we go back to this part okay, this is important because in utm we accept both uh way of citation we call it okay we one is called harvard apa format you can search in the internet harvard or apa harvard format or harvard style or apa style okay and the other one would be vancouver or sometimes people say yeah i triple e or some people say it's a uh, numbers in bracket uh format this if you use uh or this is called author year eh? author year how about me author year is like this so you write david bracket to 2016 ahmad and omar 2013 or what at all at all when you have three or more authors then you write at all with the dot the dot is at the all Qua and others the his friends okay so that's the uh, that's that's how we write that and then only use one surname so like this for example omar bin yakob omar bin will never appear inside our Discussion like this. It's only Yakub 2011. Okay. So, and then the list of references is arranged according to alphabetical order of surnames. So, like this, start with A, B, and T, V. So, it's alphabetical order, no numbers, and normally it is in the uh, first line indented outside, like this. So that we can see the A, B, T, and so on. So this is a format that is acceptable in UTMPCs. And next time you write references, you must use this. Either this or the other one, of course. Okay. So this is an example of how it is stated. A summary of research in the field of tidal turbine is given by Volje, 1981. Okay. Uh, Ariel et al. developed a novel concept of hydropower device for low that the authors propose the use of the vertical axis. On the other hand, Aliman studied by Turan, they managed to obtain 10%. So we see we see how this is written. It gives a summary, uh, who give a summary. And then on the other hand means there are other ways of doing it. Or the other the other ways, eh? uh, by Turan. And then what what did Turan do is explained here. But their work was enhanced. Let me follow, follow up. So we need to see to see which one follow up to whom. Okay. And then so there is a story being told like this. Okay, for connecting the literature. So all these are all connected. You see that how they are connected by having sentences like like this, yeah. So this is Harvard and Apple format. The next format that people can also use will be these numbers in bracket. So it is one and so on. So the difference is when you use this number in bracket, then the list of references is arranged according to order of appearance, which is like this. This is similar, the same uh, story, okay? But the references is given by number in bracket. So Valje, and then reference two and then three and four so we list it while well, j is number one although it's v we put it number one because it appear first after that two yeah so if you have number bracket the references must be in order of appearance you cannot have one here and then you have ten here no you must be one two three four you cannot have four here first okay and then you you list the references at the end with like this okay, so this is how we write references here yeah? and 
uh, you must make sure you get it right. Either way, either this one or that one. Uh, UTM PCs format allows you to use either the author year or numbers in bracket. Uh, I will stop here. Just uh, I've spoken too much. <laughs> it's a return slides. Can you uh, for for anybody to ask any question or mention anything? Any any questions or comments? Professor, pro, pro, professor, yeah, yeah, who's from here? No, no. Oh, okay. Uh, I wanted to ask about this uh, and all. How do we know that uh, we chose the right the author? Is it uh, with the leading author or I mean just uh, whoever just uh, pick the name? Right? For yeah, the, the first author, the first author of course. So the, 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 the author name that you mentioned when you go to the here must be this one, the one that, that appears here. So here in this case, it is Ariel, Bachan, Turan and Valje. So they are the one that's going to appear as, so this will be Ariel, remember here, Ariel at all. At all because there are many, many writers here, authors here. So Ariel and his friends, yeah. Bachan and Wosnik, yeah. Bachan and Wosnik. So because there are only two, and uh, Valje is alone for this book, yeah. Valje, so this is the book, Valje, 1981. Okay. Any other question? And remember, we never write the other. So for example, here Ariel VR. We don't write Ariel VR here. We write Ariel only. Bachan and Wosling is Bachan and Wosling or Bachan P and Wosling M here. In the reference, we write in the list of reference, we write full. But when we quote them or cite them in the our text, we do not put anything else other than their surname. So like Omar Bey Yaakob, in the reference, you have here Yaakob, Omar, O, B, uh, and so on. But when you write my name inside here, you have only Yaakob 2011. Yes, any other question? Uh, excuse me, Doctor. I have yeah? a misunderstand about uh, research. Laila. Yes, Doctor. Uh, I have misunderstand about the research problem and research question. Re uh -huh. In research problem, the, okay. which problem exactly we, we, we write it? Because in, in my research, I have many problems that uh, it's about uh, synthesis uh, nickel sulfide nanoparticles to improve, uh, to improve the performance of uh, the energy storage device. Uh, so, uh, I, w I wanted to improve the, the performance and, and this by, and also control the, the size to improve it. And there is uh, also about the structure. Which the one? Detail, I, the, I, detail, the detail about research questions will come, of course, you, you, you write that later. Research question come from problem statement. Problem statement is a general statement of your specific field of research. Why, what people are not doing about that. Okay, so if you see later, uh, I think it's pink here. Uh, if you see in, in uh, remember the VCO, the VCO example, uh, that's virgin coconut oil. That, that's very clear. And some of you already shown just now in some of your friends, example, that, that thing people have not done it. But after that, of course, we convert into the actual research question. Research question is something else that you do after you, you specify the research problem. Okay, research, pro research questions is another way of putting uh, the, the research problem in more specific thing that you want to search. Okay, uh -huh. the problem is still something general. This better, minute, minute. Yes. nobody, for example, in, in VCO example, yeah, Nobody has used VCO in uh, diesel engine, so I'm going to study that. What exactly you want to study? The research question is, can VCO be used? Okay, and how much is the correct amount of VCO? Those are the research questions. So same like John. Mm -hmm. John's uh, 
says that the, the, the thing is nobody has done research on the amount of sugar. So yes. I want to see what's the correct amount of sugar. That's a research question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the problem is nobody has done. What is it that nobody has done? That's research problem. So you need to define that first. After that, uh. what specifically you want to find? That's a research question. We'll talk about research question after this. But now we are only finding from literature review what is the research problem, which is what is the gap in knowledge. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, yes. Who's that? It's yeah, Ojaomo, sir. Ojala, okay. Ojaomo. 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 Ojaomo, okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So I want to talk about this. Uh, I want to ask questions on this uh, auto year method of referencing uh, citation. Yep. The, I, I, I used to see one David, like this David 2016, sir. Can it be written together and then in the two in brackets with a comma? Let's like, say uh, the brackets, we, I used to see it also in, uh, in, in papers, in uh, journals. Like, it's written together inside the bracket. Yeah. To give us David 2016 and the comma we separate them. Is yeah. it allowed for UTM? Is does UTM allow that, sir? Yes, yes. Then, if, if, sir, if my second question, sir. My second question, so that you, you answer them together, sir. My second question is on this uh, literature review. Mm -hmm. That if at the end of uh, a review and the researcher finds out that the, the gap he intended to, to feel is no longer necessary. Perhaps he later found out that the work had been done. So is there any special approach for him to uh, pick another area of study or to go about the, 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 the social problem? Thank you, sir. Uh, okay. Yeah, the, the, the number one is, uh, yes, if you have a number of authors, later we'll come to that. I think there are examples right here. Uh, okay, so like this one, overlap ratio, and then, uh, so we, we have that, it's separated by this, or oh, supposed to be here as well. Yes, sir, like yeah. uh, Hong, Hong and Chong. Yes. 2016. The, yeah. the, the, all of them will be in, in bracket. Yes. So this is okay. okay. I said this one is okay, straight, as it's supposed to be column, semicolon there. Okay. Okay, yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. So you can. Oh, so sir, is it only when there are many that that is allowed? Yes. Or it can be used for one it, it, auto, uh, one citation. For one citation. Just when the auto. Then for one citation, it will be like this one. Okay, sir. Or, oh, yes. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, uh, for the other, the, the other example. I think we'll find, we'll, we'll find the example later. All right. Sir. Okay. So for your first question is about when you find, when you go down, that's, that's why when you go down the, 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 the pyramid, the inverted pyramid, you gotta, you go to the vertex and you cannot find, you found that everything has been found, that you need to go up. You need to go up one step. Okay, so um ah okay. <laughs> here. Uh, so if you go to the problem segment again, if you go to the vertex and you find something that it doesn't work, then you need to go to go up one step. Yeah, of course. So it's like this one, for example. So you, you found that nanomaterial coatings, but people have done everything about the nanomaterials. Okay, then you need to go up. Yes, yes. What are the new materials other than the new materials? Okay, this thing is also yeah. already done, then you need to go up here. You find some, yes. some other type of coating, maybe you want to go to electroplating, you look at different type of uh, electroplating and so on. So you go up and up if you, you found that you, you start there. You need to go up so that it comes like another vertex. Okay? Thank you, sir. Yes, right. sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 
Who's that? Not clear. Who's uh, that? Ibrahim Nuhu. Okay. Ibrahim Nuhu. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm asking about the literature citation. How yeah. do you regard a literature too old for citation? Sorry. Is there any way? How do you regard a literature too old for citation? How do you regard? It's mentioned uh, that it is should be five years. Yeah. How, how, do you get, how, how do you know that that literature, this, this literature is too old to be cited? Too old when it is more than five years old. Maybe you are still searching in a case where uh, in, the, in 2021, and it happened that uh, there is a literature done around 20. 2001, there about. Yeah. So, is there, any, is there any year that one can say that this literature is too old to be cited? Yes, any, it is already any... old. So we expect okay. that maybe 80 percent of your your work should be based on uh, the last five years work. Then only your 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 research become current, especially when defining your problem statement. Because if you define problems based on 2001 uh, or even 2010 uh, literature, many work could have uh, done be done between 2010 and now about that particular aspect of the work. So you you not depend on 2010. So that's why we said that you would reasonably you should go back five years to define your problem. Okay, okay, that is the first one. The second one. It's not that we cannot to... use at all the, 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 the old ones, but we say the majority of your your references should be fresh, not stale. Okay. okay. Yes, you have second question. Question if you have a new uh, maybe invention that has never been carried out in in in, in, a, in a real life world. It's, it's, it's a new concept. There's no literature on that. So how do you go about that? any literature regarding that issue? It has not been done anywhere in the world. So is there anything that you can, uh, perhaps there's no maybe literature uh, which can an idea of research gap about that. It's a maybe new conception, it's something that you conceptualize uh, maybe recently. So how do you go about that and going by the but by, by the literature requirement that you have to find something that will give you a rich a, an information that has not been done and us now is a unique something new so how, is there any that okay when when uh, something has not been done in a particular area it can signal only two, two things number one okay. number one uh, or, or something that people have left for quite some time, yeah, probably 10 years ago, oh no, 20 years ago or 50 years ago, yeah, yeah. something. No, 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 no recent literature about that. Okay? So number one is because people have found that it never worked. It cannot work. You'll never work as so often. Because sometimes uh, uh, I, I've, I've been approached with people have it, say, saying that, oh, I have something very, very novel, new invention and so on. But when he explained to me and so on, I said, no, this thing is... And he said he, he could not find any any literature, anything about this. It's something completely new, going to revolutionize uh, energy and so on. So I said, people don't do it because it, 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 this cannot work. Physics-wise, explain that this thing will never work. That's why people don't do it. But you think it can work, go ahead, but it's not. That's that. That's not. Uh, I don't think it, it works. So that's number one. Basically, people have tried to do it, and uh, or so, so, that, that 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 thing is not something that is doable. Eh? It's not something doable. Okay. So the the other thing, maybe people have done it, and they found that it's a no go. That one maybe is based on research. Okay, and they found it, and they they said it's no go. No, that's that's not the way to go. So it's either something that is impossible to work or something that they have found, uh, people have done it, but they found it to not, uh, it's a no-go. So if you, if you still can prove yourself that nobody has done it, yes, it's still a problem statement for you. 
but you must be aware of that those two those two things uh, that uh, it could be something that it is impossible to work in the first place or it is something that people have abandoned because it is uh, it doesn't work or it is just too costly or it is whatever whatever reason that they, they have abandoned that particular concept okay so i think those are uh, answers i think you <laughs> Any other questions or comments? Hello, Professor. Yep. Uh, I have a question. Um, for these two methods of um, citing references, uh, which one should be used in our uh, PhD thesis uh, or master thesis in our UTM? In UTM, we allow all this, uh, these two, these two methods. Yeah. In fact, you see here. Harvard and APA, these are two different formats. There are slight differences between them. Okay. But if you go to UTM thesis format, uh, UTM thesis format, they say you, are, you can use Harvard, APA, or Vancouver. So you can, but Harvard and Vancouver is very, Harvard and APA are very close, except very small, minor differences. I, I, I can tell you later. Um, I can tell you now, but it's going to confuse you. So I better, I better, the, because those things are very small. The differences. In fact, if you if you use it, people don't even realize that you are using Harvard or APA. Okay, so it, they, they, it's very similar, very very similar, because they use author year. The difference is very small. So you use either this one or this one. No problem. Nobody will question you if you use either either one. You don't have to even declare. That this thesis is written using Vancouver format. No, people know. Oh, this is using number bracket. Okay, no problem. It's using author year. That's no problem. So in your assignments as well, you can use either way. Uh, I don't have any preference. Yeah? This one, and we don't have any preference in terms of how you cite your reference. Okay. And then okay. uh, when you do your assignment, you must go to the Harvard and APA or Vancouver and really follow it. For example, how we write this one, you know, uh, each one of them uh, for articles, how to write books, how to write and so on. So all those are defined in the, in the guidelines. You must follow them 100%. Okay. Any more questions? Right. If none, um, I'll open some. Oh, before we that, before that, we, we see some. Uh, we see this uh, good literature review and poor literature review. So, poor literature review. This one, the SPM, eh? <laughs> form five for secondary school. I think the an annotated bibliography confined to description. It only describe this paper explain what? This paper did what? I can narrow shallow and so on. But for a good literature review for masters and PhD research, it's a synthesis, critical evaluation, appropriate breadth and depth, clarity, users, rigorous and consistent method and so on. So as you said, this is not, not good. Okay, one paragraph talking about that. But these are, these are many sentences, you know, this is, a, for example, way of to write general statement about, about uh, research. Different theories exist in the literature regarding this. So maybe you can give examples of those. So you can use some of these uh, sample sentences, okay, describing about, gen in general, about, about the, the, the problem. A considerable amount of literature has been published on this uh, issue, okay? But this problem about this uh, case, yeah? So you, you can do that. Or, um, and then you can start, start to see something like this. Jones et al. compared what were carried out. So these are some examples that you can use, okay? So, so that you can change a little bit. Investigated, conducted, reviewed, performed, interviewed, analyzed, studied, carried, examined, 
set up as and so on. So you can use this. But you can see here the author is the subject or the character. Let's see if that this is a story. So what's happening? John is doing something. So John compared, John examined, John carry out, and so on. Yeah? So author is the subject. Good. Uh, here also John perform, but start with the year. Okay, so you can say like that. Because this one is using the square bracket. Okay. So like this one, uh, this is the this one is using the author year. Okay, 30 years later and so on. So it gives some kind of uh, historical or chronological uh, value to the review. And then you can say about uh, research topics, the research topic itself. A case study comparing here is why that of me and so on. So this is when we are writing in the critical manner, we, we, we can quote one and then the next center will relate to it and so on. So how to relate that? You need to have some connecting verbs. Eh? Uh, later we will look into that. So this is another example. So these are the one that uh, we, we, we want to see a lot in your literature review. Okay? To show similarity, for example, similarly, author B points to. Likewise, author C makes a case that. Author D also makes this point. Again, it is possible to see. So you see that the, the, the words connecting uh, between the, the each of the, um, uh, the, the authors. Eh? So it's, uh, similarly, that means somebody else, before this was explaining about somebody, somebody else. And then similarly means author B is like author A. Okay? So likewise, it's also similar. So all this are all examples of. And then you may want to use disagreements to show however, on the other hand, conversely, nevertheless. Okay? And here are some other examples. On the other hand, so this is... The, the words that is used to do the weaving between the various literature because literature review is you take the various literature and you compare and contrast and so on then you may want to say that someone disagreed or someone agreed someone did uh, alternatively a different way someone expanded explored conquered proposed just now enhanced confirmed rejected and so on so all this need to be put inside your literature review, just like, uh, for example, like like this example, yeah. So example, some studies also support conclusion that traditionally attributed hinder hinder learning calculus. So this is a general statement, and then it gives an example, but of this citation, Selden et al. Okay, Selden. Uh, what 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 did Selden conclude? So it just give a very brief thing here. And then similar results. Oh, okay. Now it's comparing Norman and Selden. Okay. Now Selden and Norman are similar now. And then they did this and so on. And what did Norman, Norman Pritchett did? He did it. On the other hand, okay, on the other hand, that means on the other side of the, the story, okay, there are other people. So these are some of the other people, yeah? So that's an example. You see, this one is another example that uh, I think we we uh, inside your your versions. And initial as Professor Zay described by Everly concluded that uh, this is we say overlap ratio only. This this whole story is about overlap ratio only. And you have so many uh, references all talking about the same thing and comparing between findings of one compared to the other. And finally, like this one. Finally, even Reza, this one, he compared again with Gupta, which was mentioned earlier. Okay? So Gupta here and Reza here. So uh, we, 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 we know a story from, from, from here. It is a story being told. Yeah? So same thing like this one. This is only talking about uh, criteria for weight wash. Weight wash is the... If a sheep pass, yeah, okay, it passes through the through through the canal or a, a, a lake, then you can see the wave that's coming at the back. So that is a wake wash when it comes on 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 land. 
it wash on the river bank. So there is a criteria for defining how high that is allowed. So in recent years, a number of different authors have addressed the issue of definition of water criteria and have covered a number of different proposals. So this is a general statement. And then I explain one by one. Reference one suggested this and so on. And then 17, 16, yes, 16, reference 16. 17 extended the work of reference 16. So this shows that this guy who's writing this knows the story. Okay, the connection between 16 and 17. Okay, and then uh, what are the three weight loss criteria by proposed by 17? These are the three. Okay. Uh, okay, which, which, uh, uh, that means that it, it, he, they, they say that this, these people and these people. And then what, what do the people agree with this? This author do not agree with uh, the use of energy-based approach. Then, and uh, finally, this this people this person confirmed that the authors these authors are correct in their disagreement to energy-based approach. So uh, we we see that there is a story being being told here by uh, weaving the different literature together. This one is by one of your senior. Uh, this step from the, the, the proposal. An initial experiment study described by Jawad. Jawad at all concluded this is the conclusion, uh, which shows better results. Yeah, and they have a uh, This concurred with early study. So this one, Jawad, in 2020. Earlier of study, uh, the other side is also similar. They reported this one. Okay, and then now uh, uh, okay, and then on the other hand, Chen at all comparative theory, and then similarly to that and count currently proposed processing error work. So that is maybe another example. Okay. So we, we end there. I'll open up a few more examples from from the, the archive. Okay, so we see an example here of some uh, literature. So it, like this guy is using the square bracket, yeah? So, uh, so one of the thing here is uh, the, we see the references being given in square bracket and it is, uh, of course, in order, eh? in order 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. So that's a, an attempt of uh, discussion, but it's not very, very well done uh, for, for this one. Okay? Because... Uh, when you have this kind of reference at the at, at the at the end here, then we have a problem of uh, making it uh, a discussion, a discussion like because uh, we need to 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 have a proper discussion. We we need to make the author as uh, what we call it the the subject. Okay, we see some other examples. Okay, the problem with this one is that this, the paragraph is too long. Okay, later, later we are going to touch on writing, writing uh, module. The paragraph should not be uh, too long. So minimum, I would say three paragraph per uh, page. So like this one, we have only two. 
Okey. Uh, but here there is a how how he he write this one eh. So you start from here. Zhang Ji and Yuan Yong calculated okay at the center practice and then he put the references at the end like this which is wrong okay what he's supposed to do is just write Zhang and Yuan 2006 calculated so there's no need for this one to be here and this is put at the end here because these two are actually these two right and we don't write full full names like this so just put this one there then this become a good sentence so the same thing in the second one you see your fang as well so you, this your fang should be you the you you at all to the other one calculator and so on but still there is no uh, connecting verbs between the two sentences between the two not only the two sentences the two citations are not connected so same thing like this one is wrong here how he put how 2000 at the end this should not be that here how bracket 2000 use finite element okay so same thing uh, for the rest so this is a mistake uh, it should not be done like that so he tried to have something that we similarly do Zheng Kuang use finite elements and this is okay yeah Prof, if I, I may ask yep uh, for example we put a uh, how the uh, and then we use I triple E uh, style we put how and then the bracket number or we just put the, the number uh, you you can use uh, how uh, without the year okay how or how in this case uh, this is how bracket uh, number what whatever number okay reference number uh, how and Lee with the bracket number you can say that bracket with the number you can say that or you can just use the bracket uh, I mean okay. I mean for like uh, the first sentence how Hong Pei use the final element so in that sentence we put how and then the bracket the, the reference number or is it yes. we use just number a uh, one used to find an element you, something like that. you can use the number or uh, number only also can okay. okay the how with the number is also okay so okay. say if this is reference number 13 that how bracket 13 or you can use 13 use there's no problem okay, okay. Mm. thank you okay this is some other example. I think how to another example. Can I do this? Mm -hmm. Okay, like this one it's using the the bracket yeah but still because he's using the bracket at the end so here you see uh, how uh, he's trying to do the the the, the taxonomy so he's looking at what the literature is saying about influence of tool rotational speed and pin profile okay so here the problem now is that he has C Chiva Chidambaram at all 2015. This is what format? Is it Harvard or Vancouver? Harvard. 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 But when you come here, he has Vancouver. So we cannot do this. Okay. We should not uh, use uh, mix. Vancouver with Harvard. You use only one, stick to one. So this should not have been here. Because now it comes to palatable, then it comes to Harvard again. And then now we have <laughs> Vancouver again. So this is very bad. All right. Okay, so so the, uh, be, 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 be aware about that. You should not mix mix them up. So this uh, this uh, uh an explanation by level this, this and oh I see 
He write Palanival at all with the year, and then basically this nine is actually Palanival. So if there is no need for this one, number nine, or you don't have this one, yeah, just nine study. Yeah. So you put nine here, or you remove the Palanival here. You put nine here. That's no problem about that. So it should be, should be nine. Nine study because it's going to make the author as the subject. So nine study the influence of. Or you can do Palanival bracket nine. Palanival at L bracket nine. Study. It's okay. But not 2012. It's not strong. So this bracket should be here. Remove 2012. Then it's, it can. It's okay. So like this one as well. Moradabam. Moradam at all. 10 on the other hand. Stated the effect tables. So we see uh, the structure that he is trying to uh, to do that. One influence to retention speed. So he find some uh, literature that on that part, and then the microstructure and mechanical testing. So this is about mechanical testing. Gun. Uh, yeah. So this is an example of uh, how it should not be done, eh? The mixing. Okay, we go to... Uh, Prof, I have a question. Yep. Uh, if we mix the, the type of citation in different sentence, is it okay? Uh, for example, the first sentence using the upper and then the second sentence or other sentence using the Vancouver. Is I it know. Okay? Can I, can I, in a thesis, you choose only Upper or Harvard or Vancouver. That's it. All right. That makes sense. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Okay, what's the problem with this one? Any, uh, anybody can pick up uh, what's the problem with this? The citation. More than four. Yeah, so the bracket should be, should be where? Should be here. For the right? year. Yeah. Yeah. And you are at all more than three. Okay. Aludi at all. Same thing here. The bracket should be here. There's no comma. Just put the bracket there. Okay. So here they try to, to do some uh I mean the, the author here try to, to, to discuss. He said that these people studied this. On the other hand, these people did, did show this. It, it's evident that that alternatively, Kregor investigated this. They pointed like this. And then these people proposed multiple optimization protests. Others, they show this. Other studies were also performed, you know. So in terms of trying to tell a story, it's good. But the way they cite do the dissertation, he, do, he did the station here. It's not, it's not the right way. Lah. Okay. okay, so we go to next one. So here he used uh, the one at First, he used the Vancouver. Uh, he put all the reference at the end, uh, except for here. Wherever they use a coupling agent such as silane, okay, as described in 6 and 7, and we eliminate okay. Oh, but there is only one paragraph. This is one paragraph, <laughs> okay? And it's actually more than one paragraph because if you go right to the to the end here, okay? Cylindrical and rectangular shapes, <laughs> so that's connected to the, this paragraph ends on the next page. We don't know how many, how long is the next page. Okay, so that is unacceptable to have a paragraph like this. So I said, minimum three paragraphs. Okay, normally three to five or so paragraphs. And there is no single sentence 
paragraphs. That's another, that's, that, that's the other constraint. You cannot write one paragraph, one sentence, but you cannot write one paragraph, one page, or more than one page, like this guy. Okay. Okay. Let's do another example. Artificial neural network. This one is so long paragraph, only two paragraphs. Background. Uh, and so again, the, the, the references are. Sir, uh, yep. So this is Ignati, Ignatif 2013. Sorry? Please, uh, there's a reference there that I, I still, still get me confused. That Ignative uh, 2013, Ignative, 2019, about the, this phenomenon is called vortex breakdown and it can be. That's, that sentence, sir. Effect yeah. of aircraft such as causing instability of control and structural damage. Ignative, 2013. Yeah. So the, the two of them together are inside the bracket. Yeah. And the ones we've been seeing before, they are separated. It's only the date, the year, that is in, inside the bracket. So it's kind of giving me confused, confusion. No, no. So which one what, are we when, going to adopt? When, when they put at the end of the bracket, then it is inside like this. When at the end of sentence, then it is like this. When it is uh, the beginning of sentence, yes, then you, if, if the Shabudin is at the beginning of sentence, then you have... Uh, uh the bracket in the year without the comma in the year but okay, when you send the sentence okay. it is like this but here he has okay, the sir. problem here this author shabudin mat the surname is mat actually so there is no shabudin here supposed to be it's only mat 2011 okay but again this is a problem with uh, putting the references at the end and so on which are i think from the, re the exercise you found that it's not it's not very it's not very good, yeah. So all all putting the sentences at the element. But uh otherwise they tried to uh to 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 do he, he tried or he or she, I think this is she here, uh tried to do some kind of uh analysis here. Both the church use different training methods and so on. Yeah. Mm, while while Ross used propagation, both studies produce the same results. So, so that, that, that this, this is the kind of uh, discussion or remarks that we would like to see. Right? You see this one. Uh, again, uh, the end of sentences and so on. Just in time, multiple choice. So like, like, like this is okay to put at the end here. But here, starts like this. So this is wrong. The, the, the bracket should be here without a comma. Can I ro, ro, Rosen, ro, even Rosen without a comma if you want to write all three. But it should have been Canon at all. Bracket 2000 agreed that GIT is not only for manufacturing and so on. Okay. Uh, Okay. The next one. Again, another one paragraph. One paragraph. One paragraph page. One page paragraph. Same problem. People standing inside the building and so on. As very much show that the under certain ventilation the ratio is CO2. So all this putting the thing at the end like this, it's a bit difficult, yeah, because you, you look. So that's why when we, uh, I go back to the slides, we want to finish off. I will do this module.
So the last part of the, the class is actually about the two style of writing uh, the, the, the review. Um, so that you can you, you can relate to what you did in the exercise before the class. Okay, there are two ways, like what I've shown just now, the some example, there are two ways of um, writing the citations or the way they write the literary review, like this one, for example. A number of researchers have identified the parameters for wind energy resources estimation. The important parameters involved are speed, direction, duration of the wind. Yeah. So, as you can realize, they put, they lump all the, the three uh, citations together with this paragraph. So, in the above example, it is difficult to differentiate which citation actually states which facts. There is no clear storyline. It is difficult to show the development, agreements, and contrary opinion on the subject matter. Okay, so we don't know who said, actually, out of these three, did all three agree with all the same thing, or only this part only? Musa actually suggests this one, Lee at least this one, Nordin is this one. So, because they put them it together like this. Whereas, if we write by making citation as a subject or character in a sentence, giving them active role in the storyline, this is like reporting what is happening in a room with the characters having an academic discussion or conversation. Okay, so we see here a number of researchers have the same, the same uh, thing, yeah? uh, the same information being conveyed using di a different manner. The manner is a number of researchers have identified the parameters for wind energy resource estimation. According to Musa et al., the important parameters are wind speed and direction. Lee and Lim conquered, but added that the duration of the wind is also important. Norden also listed the same three parameters. Ah, that's where they are similar. And Lee and Lim is similar here, but it add another one. Norden agreed with the three. And then Norden et al., the, the study on Peninsular Malaysia is not done by Musa and Lee and Lim. It's done by Norden et al. And they are the one who shows that monsoon season has strong influence on overall energy assessment. So it becomes a story, like a short story. Yeah? So in the second example, it is easier to follow the storyline. The ownership of the facts are also clear. The authors onwards can also be differentiated. The next two slides show an example. So the slides that you see in this, this one, yeah, and this one. So I ask you what's the difference. I don't know whether that's what you wrote on. Yep. So this is uh, what you wrote. Oh. And I think most of you uh, got it the uh, something which is similar in terms of what 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 you commented here. Eh? The first version seems to be a bit complicated. Uh, as it combines the work of different authors in the same sentence, the second version is better is explain the research finding in a way that is easy to understand. So I think most of you. Uh, uh, make a similar 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 comments yeah version 2 makes uh makes use of appropriate sentence starter and connecting words to state all the literature review accordingly yeah so uh i think you agree that if i were to ask you to vote then uh, the the second version is better so i would expect that in Uh, in your uh, your your write up later, you avoid using version one. Okay, so version one is the one like uh, like what you have done by many of your friends, many of your friends that we have shown just now in these photos, like this one they put at the end, then they put at the end like this, yeah. Uh, Okay, putting uh, at the end like this, end of sentences. So sometimes 
as as we said just now, if we put at the end of the sentence, we don't know for long or for uh, long sentences, uh, long paragraphs. They put towards the end, they put one or two uh, things. We don't know which one is actually belonging to the um, to the is written by the the author. Which one is actually uh, taken from the the literature? Yeah. So oh, sorry, this eh? So we we have like so we 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 go again to that uh, example that we saw. So if if we were to write like this, we 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 for each one of it, then we are not sure which part. So when you have these two, for example, okay, we don't know which one is actually by Reda, which one is Han and Leong. Okay? Whereas if you go to the version two, it is very clear who who said what, who did what, who, who wrote in, uh, who, who reported what. So this is called a conversation style. Conversation style, meaning it is like you are in a room and Everly was there, Manet was there, all these authors were there, and each one was talking. Okay, so, and then you are a reporter, so you are, you are saying, oh, Everly was the one who concluded, okay, then Everly there, and it was concluded this. And then uh, Manet, Manet said he had reviewed, okay, I'm, I'm going to, to put a minute here, that uh, what Everly said was conquered with Manet. You know, so this is like reporting a conversation. This is an academic conversation. So we see uh, the the authors become uh, what we call as uh, subjects. Yeah. So they 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 are, they are actors inside this story. Okay, they are subject or actors in this story or characters in the story. Then we can see the whole story uh, in and easier to to see the whole story. Yeah, the whole storyline. Uh, unlike uh, the previous one, which is like this. Although it's become shorter, yeah, but because we don't know which one is the author's work. There's, maybe all this, uh, they pick up from Everly, that part, and then they put Everly there. Put experiments and then they put this uh, the reference. So if we were to, 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 to have different colors for each of the words, which one are the author on the word and which one are the the researchers uh, that he quote from then you will find that the author's words are not that many in this version but in this version there's a lot that's why it become longer you see like Everly concluded that concluded definitely it's not from Everly okay maybe the Everly is very important factor this one from Everly but this one is concluded is the one that author actually okay. so this conquered with an earlier study that's definitely author's work yeah uh, by minute up to here oh in fact all of this <laughs> so he's doing uh what we call like uh, in malay we call it cakap cakap pindah eh? cakap pindah so which is uh, reporting reporting something rather than cakap ajuk cakap ajuk means you you quote as if verbatim if you like this one you just take verbatim, verbatim from from the, the Gupta. For example, you go to Gupta, you find from his uh, uh, from his abstract, pick up, and then put Gupta at all. And then, okay, this one is his own words. Okay. Okay, up to here. Right, so, and then this one will be no, no more his own words. Maybe it's taken from one of these. Okay. So, you see uh, that we expect when you write your your literature later in uh, your second assignment and also in your uh, your final proposal you are going to uh, do uh, this this particular uh, style of writing literature eh? it is a conver conversational style conversation academic competition style okay so now we come to the end of our class and there is a task that you have to do okay you don't have to submit this as well you don't have to even show it to class but 
I just want to ask that here that you have done this next week that you have done task 1B. Okay, task 1B is to write a background literature review on your topic, uh, which includes the problem statement. I should have put here. Uh, later, I'll edit a little bit. Okay, up to problem statement only. Don't have to write about, about research question. No, no, no. I want you to see what you write up to problem statement. Okay. I may ask you to present next week. It depends on how uh, our plans for our class. Um, maybe I'll ask for volunteers as well to present your problem statement. Okay, your literature review together towards the end of the program. So I don't expect this to be long. Maybe it's just uh, half a page or, or so, or maybe one page. It's, uh, one page is long enough. Okay, so you write something there. Uh, uh, you refer to at least 15 relevant journal, journal article or thesis or conference paper, that's better. Of course, you want quality one, you know, you know how to get quality papers now. You know which paper are more quality than others, have more quality than others. So you know that, you find 15 minimum. If you have, if you have more, it's okay, it's okay. But for, for you to write maybe half a page or one page, I think 15, 15 uh, papers will be enough. Yeah. Okay. Any uh, questions? Any comments before we end? So I, 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 I clarify again. This one you don't need to submit. Okay, don't need to submit. I may ask you to present. Maybe a few of you. Okay, to to present your background review together with problem statement. Up to problem statement. All right. Okay, if none, then uh, we end here. Which one? So, any question? Any comment? No? All right. Then, then the, we end the class here. We'll see you again next week. So, have a nice day. And for those who are fasting, Selamat Berbuka. Happy. Uh, selamat Berbuka. Eh? So, we have a beautiful Ramadan. All right. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam. Thank, thank you. 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 Thank